The Archdiocese of Atlanta was presented with a unique gift at the end of 2017. Seventy-five dolls were donated to the Office of Archives and Records, but not just any dolls. Seventy-five nun dolls. Quite a few dioceses have nun dolls in their collections, but very few, if any, had something this size. Um, there's one place in Michigan that has like a nun doll museum, so they have like 500 of them. It's not a collection that everybody would want displayed in their house, so they're happy to have it go somewhere that, you know, will put it to good use and appreciate the collection. Margaret Alsop donated the collection and she handcrafted nearly every outfit with the same fabric as the actual order. Each one of them got something in, you know, in the mail. The parts, uh, the sisters, because I had to have this stuff to, to work with. I'd have to wait sometimes, you know, until, until I'd find it or order it. Sister tatted a little bonnet for me, put it all up. It's exactly this is. Alsop's late husband was in the military for 25 years, and during their travels, they met and got to know sisters of many different orders and places. Many of those holy women are represented in the collection. I know them. I think there are people in my life that I think are kind of in them. These were my friends, that's all. The history of nun dolls is fairly new, but they serve a great purpose. Originally, the nun dolls were sort of um, created by the orders back in the 60s and the 70s after the Second Vatican Council, when a lot of the, di the orders stopped wearing their habit. So they used the dolls as a way to document sort of their own history um, over time. And so they would make the nun doll habits and then they made them for family and friends. So there's tons of them, theoretically. Alsip had been working on this particular collection since the 80s, and it was actually her second set of dolls. She sold her first set in the 70s to pay for a trip to the Holy Land. With the Order of St. Bridget, Sisters of Mercy and Carmelite nuns of the ancient observance, just a few of the over 60 different orders represented, this collection is a wonderful addition to the Atlanta archives. We don't have a ton of materials in our archives that document the history of the orders who've served here. So we thought this would be a great way, a visual way of um, showing off the work that the women religious do for our diocese. After being in storage for nine years, Alsup is happy for them to find a permanent home where they will be shared with others to enjoy. When Debbie brought these boxes down, I think I kind of fell apart. She was just looking for a place where they would be appreciated and where somebody could enjoy them for the future um, and that they wouldn't just get sold piecemeal online or something. And I said, well, that's where I want them to go.